fanaticism, spellslinger. Everyone's most obvious favorite combination of skills. See, I ran out of creative ideas, so now I'm stuck playing the meta, which is obviously this. For those who don't know, Inquisitor Ascendancy gives you this node called Instruments of Zeal. And within this node, you have this thing called Fanaticism, which gives you 75% basically more damage um, through cast speed scaling once you've attacked four times previously. Now, it's a really awkward thing to build around because at its core, you don't really want to be playing an alternating attack and cast playstyle. So one of the misconceptions about fanaticism is that you can't have 100% uptime of fanaticism while you're also doing damage. Now you can see in this clip that I'm both using my Orb of Storms for a lot of the time and having 100% uptime on fanaticism. And I'm generating fanatic charges at the exact same time. And basically all you need to do is make sure that every single second you're still attacking. But that means you only need to attack once per second. So in my case, my Frenzy has an attack speed of roughly 4.5, which means that I have roughly three quarters of a second every second to do other stuff while I've already met the condition to generate a Fanatic Charge. So within that three quarters of a second, I choose to use Tempest Shield. And the reason why you want to use Tempest Shield primarily is because it has a really low base cast speed, which means that you don't get animation locked, meaning that this has a much more fluid and flexible playstyle than something like, you know, Ball Lightning, which I was using in some of these clips and does give more damage. So it's kind of interesting because what you have going on is the damage coming from a Spellsinger setup in Orb of Storms, however, the frequency and the number of hits coming from scaling through cast speed and fanaticism. Now the last part of this puzzle, which is my least favorite part of this league, is Hydrosphere. And Hydrosphere normally doesn't really allow for chaining between two targets. Just think about Arc. Arc doesn't work with Hydrosphere, right? If you have one boss and you have a Hydrosphere and you Arc, it doesn't chain all the way through. It just hits once. Orb of Storms, however, is slightly different. Orb of Storms actually has multiple hit instances. And when you actually use your initial Orb of Storms, it'll fork out to multiple targets. Now, because it's doing this and each fork is treated as a separate instance of damage while you're using Tempest Shield, apparently there's some glitch there, you actually end up hitting the boss twice. Once is the Orb of Storms actually hitting the boss as you're triggering Tempest Shield, and the second time is actually Orb of Storms hitting Hydrosphere, which then chains to the boss. Now the way to make this work, of course, is to actually use Chain. You do need a source of Chain. In other words, you're stuck using the Chain Gem. However, this gem is still the biggest damage multiplier you can get for this build. Not only that, it also helps out with the clear of Orb of Storms, it makes the damage versus multi-boss incredible. And honestly, it's just super cool to see all these chaining graphics going on. Basically, you spell sing Orb of Storms, which has a duration and is always ticking, and then as you approach bosses, you want to use a single target skill that's a lightning skill to trigger this Orb of Storms. That said, I think I've built this incorrectly, so don't take this. What I would end up doing on Inquisitor is actually getting rid of the inevitable judgment pathing, and then actually going for Pious Path, which is the hybrid ES and life path, and building a much tankier character, and looking to hit about 9k hybrid, which should be fairly achievable, and then going with a bunch of hybrid regen and an ES on hit. And this will let you stay still. And the other important thing is to make sure to use this shield. However, the way that I've chosen to set up this build is basically through glass cannon lightning setups. The thing that people keep asking about most is why I have no helmet on, and I'm finally using Dance of Death this league, which is a keystone ganon from Brutal Restraint which says, your critical strikes are lucky, and then your damage from those critical strikes are also lucky. However, you can't use helmets, and sometimes enemies will one-shot you when they crit you. Basically, it makes enemies crits do more. However, this single keystone is giving me 62% more DPS. 62% more. I think that's worth giving up helmet slot for. Other than that, I'm building it as a generic spellcaster, and because it's lightning, it gives you the option to use Impulsa, things like Storm's Gift, Algor Mortis, but there really isn't anything going on other than the key interaction of skills and that jewel. And the reason why I want to emphasize this is because, unironically, I would have considered League starting with this if I thought about this combination earlier. It has basically the same playstyle, the smoothness of Stormbrand Spellsinger, but it has much more defensive layers built in. It has a much greater defensive ceiling built in because you can hit max block with glancing blows and then use a recovery shield with life and ES on it. And it ends up having a much higher damage ceiling actually, because we're leveraging Orb of Storms and Asseration and Lightning Tags, we're leveraging the fact that Hydrosphere can chain with Orb of Storms against single target bosses, and we're also leveraging the incredible cast speed with fanaticism and tempest shields really low base cast speed there's just a lot of efficiencies that are going on in this build which make it i think barely playable as far as fanaticism goes